Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hayoka. I'm an empath. I'm a wise ass clown. Yeah, I'm all kinds of things. I'm a veteran. I'm a female. Today I'm real proud to be a female. Last night the Grammys were on. Lisa Keys. Lisa Keys was the hostess. She did a real good job, I think. Um I only saw bits and pieces of it. And uh she let's see if I can get through this other Anyway, so she uh but the she and Lady Gaga came out. She's the first female host in fourteen years. First female host of the Grammys. Yeah. The Divine Feminine is back, y'all. Yeah, she's making her way back around. See, you don't have to be all freaking violent and dominant and shit to make stuff happen and accomplish things in this world. You can do it soft and loving. You can do it courteously and respectfully. You can do it and nobody gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah. See, when people are balanced equally, when you come into balance with your feminine and your masculine divinity, when you come to both into terms with both, you know, and a masculine, you know, so that stuff is required. Masculine energy is required. We can't have... It's negative and positive stuff. I'm not saying that, like, all women are all negative and all men are all negative. Or, or I'm not saying all women are positive and all men are negative. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that all men... But every each and every one of us are, are energetically masculine and feminine, right? And so the stuff, the, the warrior stuff, all that stuff related to manless, you know, taking care of the village. But the women have it too because... They're the ones taking care of everything while the men are off, you know, getting hunting. They're the men, they're taking the man, you know, the, the protector role when the men go off, you know. So we all have this stuff in it, you know, and these gender roles. People are fucking out of control with their gender roles, dude. This, I, I mean, fucking god damn, dude, so much unbalance. When I see these God, Neanderthal men coming back and their fucking DNA is all charged up and waking up. That's what's happening. All of our DNA is waking up. It's charging. It's waking up. It's, it's, it's our lineage. It's who we have always been through every incarnation. And because we keep learning, you know, we'll live in di as different aspects of ourselves. We're going to die in every kind of way. It's like those the supernatural episode where the I kept dying coming back it's like Groundhog's Day it's like that Russian doll show right now dying and coming back because we get the chance to do it over to do it right to just be a fucking good ass person that's what it's all about it's not about it has nothing to fucking do with money living has nothing to do with money we have a short time on earth 100 years maybe max usually that's like max out. That ain't a long time in compared to history. You know, and everyone is born good. Everyone is. It's when people are take their goodness away. Take it by belittling them and berating them and ridiculing them and telling them they're wrong and saying, no, don't act like that. And you are too much. And are you sure you want to wear that? And Oh, is that all you? Is that all your fat? Wow. You need a diet, you know, when my body is trying to figure it out, you know, because it's, I've never lived this human experience, so it doesn't know, you know, my body doesn't do, my period started when I was nine years old, you know, I don't know, I guess there's not a lot of other women I can talk to about it, didn't that suck, as a nine year old, you know, all this developing, you know, and then men are starting to look at you, and I don't even like men, because, nah. In a sexual way. So, you know, and then when you find out, and then when, you know, and then you have those that are complete fucking dick assholes because they know that they will never get anything from you, you know, the ones that are only nice, you know. God, isn't it weird? I remember used to hear in studies about how men think about sex hundreds of times, you know, thousands of times. That's weird to me. There are so many other experiences in life that I could be thinking about than having than sex all the time. It's an energetic fee. It's an energy. It's a release. That release can be done in so many different ways. That's why people be, are addicts, sex addicts, drug addicts, food addicts. It's the release. It's that. 
the tension builds up in your body, the energy builds up in your body, it has to go someplace. Run it off. That's why they used to always say, run it off. You know, put cold water on the back of your neck. Do something to shift your energy. Break it. That concentration. Clap. When my dogs fight, I got to clap sometimes just to get them to get unlocked on each other. Release the energy. If people just figured out how to calm their own asses down, there would not be the blow-ups. But people don't know how to get their paws. They, you know, they try and find, oh, I'm going to get my paws. I'm like, how do I get my paws? I'm going to meditate. Well, I'll try and meditate. People try for a couple minutes. Oh, this is meditating. You can start thinking about thinking and then about not thinking. But meditation should be blah, 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 get all heady. Okay, well, meditation isn't for me. I just keep trying. I figured it out. I found out what works for me. Yeah, I like uh, guided meditations, Michael Seeley, Joe T. Um, so anyway, Joe Tracy, Tracy, or they're my two favorites, the women I like, the Rasa, the Emily. Anyway, so that I found what works for me, but I kept trying until, you know, and I freaking, I've never been big on organized religion, but I see what they're all talking about. They're all talking about the same thing. It's coming up going into yourself to learn how to freaking live outside of yourself because the fucking shit's getting weird dude shit is only gonna get more weird people are getting more violent you know people are getting more peaceful but with every more they're the whichever extreme the spectrum grows you know what i mean we already know what nasty dirty shit people can do and why is it so weird with this blood you know people are like satanic rituals and drinking blood and you know all these evil you know elites are doing all this stuff you know well it is no different than you catholics going to church and drinking the proverbial blood of christ how is it any different that that is demonic but the blood of christ is cool and the body of christ is cool what? I mean, I just, I'm a very logical person. And so I think of things because people are so busy just all thinking the same stuff. I think of stuff that is so fucking blatantly obvious that people are just like, what? How did I miss that? I know I missed it too. I did. But I'm waking up to a lot of things that I missed, you know? I'm waking up to a lot of stuff that I missed. I don't have to act the way I did before. And that's all that cleaning up your bloodlines and healing your the wreckage of your past and all is. is just acting different. Because if you act different, you are different. Yeah. People have to be able to change. People have to be able to reform. Because what's the report? What's the point? And stop freaking making it harder for people that have done their time. And tagging them. Felon. How many freaking federal employees are felons? By freaking using resources that aren't yours. When you're checking out your boyfriend's family. And doing all that shit. You know, anything. I mean, all that special good old boy club. It's in every paradigm. It's in everywhere. It's in every box. It's in every job. It's lives. It's this that could all be abolished if people just were treated the same way, but that ain't ever gonna happen because there's so many egos that have to make themselves feel better just to feel tiny. I tried to watch that Ted Bundy tapes. He is a little fucking bitch, dude. I can tell he's a... He's a little... He's a... Nah. But you know what I had to do? I had to listen to him and I was like, wow. I had to recognize the similarities in him. I mean... I could never take the, I could, the conditions of me taking another human life would have to be that they were taking mine first. That's it. And I'm not a mother, but every mother with a child can relate to that. Yeah. So, I ain't in it, I ain't in it for violence. It's a, you can't take other people's energy. You can't. It's a sin. Yeah, that's not a kind of sin I want. I'd rather save my sins for I don't know. 
I know I'm not without them. But I'm not going to use my <laughs> whatever. I don't like dipping low. I don't like going into low vibrational, vibrational stuff. It was my first, the first part of my life was there. And I didn't have a choice. I just had to be there, you know. Because I put myself in positions, you know, military, being in the military, freaking being in IT, just always been around fucking lazy dudes that fucking didn't really know what the fuck they were talking about, you know. But there were men, uh, I've always had better ideas than the people I was around, but they were in better and higher authority and better position than me, so, you know, just as much as people can say yes to people to help them they could say no to hinder so but I'm strong in character yep my integrity is in fact intact I'm not big on tact and I can be kind of crass but that's only because I equal the measure of your own ass <laughs>